This is Chill Chest. It's the As Seen on TV Iceless Lightweight Cooler. Let's check it out in today's review. Quick overview of features. These sides come down and it folds up. All right, got my measure king. Let's measure this out, fold it up. About 24 inches this way, 16 inches that way, and about five inches tall. Here's how you open it up. If you hate the sound of styrofoam squeaking together, you may not like this. Those lock into place, and the lid comes down. Now, the depth is about 11 inches. Chill Chest is designed to keep hot food hot and cold food cold. I just got back from a day at Lake Mead and here are my results and how the Chill Chest went. All right, we got our coolers here. This one obviously holds more than that one does. This is 28 versus 41 quarts. We got some drinks, we got some cans, macaroni salad. I'm even using this as a sort of ice pack and I got some ice cream bars. Yeah, they hold up. Same thing in here. Exact same thing, but a little bit less of each. The water is about 47 degrees. I'll test it again in both coolers when I get to my destination. All right, we're here at Hemingway Park in Boulder City, and we're going down to Lake Mead in a little bit. We wanted to stop and have a little bit of lunch. We're out of breath and carrying on it. <laughs> <laughs> so the food and the drinks that have been in the chill chest and the other cooler have been in there for about two and a half hours now. I also put uh, some frozen uh, fruit bags in there to kind of work as an ice pack, so I'm hoping everything stays cool. We've got some drinks, some sandwiches. We're gonna have a little lunch here, and then we're gonna head down to Lake Mead, hike around there for a while, and hopefully everything stays cool as well. Now the other thing is that I originally was, was gonna do this review at my house where I'd put some stuff in the coolers and just let it sit there for so many hours and check it, but that's not really how people use their coolers. People use their coolers by going out. They go to tailgating parties, to baseball games, to parks, to lakes, and they're opening up and putting things in and taking things out. That's what I wanna do. That's how I'm gonna use the chill chest in this review. So we're gonna get started by opening up and having some food and seeing how well it does. So I measure the temperature of the water when I first pack these. I'm gonna do the temperature of the water for both of these right now and see if there's any difference and see how much has dropped in two and a half hours. I'm gonna open one of these waters. Anybody want a soda or water or something? Okay, how about some sandwiches? Okay, now I got this one. The water temperature is, I don't know if you can see that or not, I'm showing up 50 degrees, 50, 50, 51 degrees. Now let's try the other cooler. Uh, 48. Well, the other cooler is a little bit cool in the chill chest, but they're still doing okay. There's certain other factors that could play into it, proximity to the cooler items, but they're both pretty cold. This one's slightly colder. We got a long way to go though. Let's see how it goes. How about the beard? You got the beard. All right, so we finished our lunch. Now it's time for dessert. I packed some ice cream sandwiches in both of these coolers, and let's see after two and a half hours if they're still frozen. Oh, where did it go? It's like stuck in there. It's stuck. And they're gonna be nice and loud over there, aren't they? It is still frozen, woo! What do you think? Chill chest comes through in the clutch. Oh, I love how peaceful and serene it sounds over here. This feels frozen too. I think they both are hanging in there. So the frozen test after two, almost three hours, is pretty good. So I came into this park to uh, check out the chill chest and after we ate lunch, about eight workers started working on the lawn here and I can't even hear anything. So we're gonna head down farther to the lake because I can barely even hear myself think there's all these leaf blowers going on in the background. It's not very serene here anymore. All right, so I'm carrying the chill chest and there, you can see the handle right there. It doesn't, it's not real deep. So I'm gonna just carry it from the bottom because for a short distance, it's one thing, but for a long distance, my fingers would just barely going in there like this, see that? That's not really enough grip. So this is even better.
I've been bringing my kids out here since they were little where you feed the ducks and feed the fish. And they have some of the biggest carp out here I've seen, at least in this area of the country. I missed. Ah! <laughs> All right, it's been exactly four hours since I filled up these coolers. I'm gonna check the temperature of the water in each one and see how they look. Did I mention that's 88 degrees right now? My friends in the Midwest are hating life right now, but it's actually really nice out here in Vegas. I can't even see the temperature here. So this one is 51, not 51 degrees. Still not too bad. Nice and cold still. All right, now we're gonna try one from the chill chest and see how chilled it really is. I gotta go in here where it's darker. 50, almost 51. You can, you can do it. You can do it. I can't. Oh, okay, well. 52 is pretty good. They're really close right now. And that's again, that's four hours later. One more test. How do you guys feel like having an ice cream bar right now? Who wants an ice cream bar? Ice cream bar? I do. Ice cream bar? Uh oh, no, oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh. It's not completely melted, but that didn't. Well, you can, Brandon, you can have this one. Okay, that's yours. Thank you. Uh, right. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, this is the regular cooler. Oh. Uh, sorry, Chill Chest. I'm gonna enjoy my ice cream bar and Brandon gets his that he has to figure out how to eat. But Chill Chest, I think, is hanging in there, but it kind of lost this one. Sorry, Chill Chest. He wants another one. The dude's a, he's a beast. He's a machine. He wants another one. He already ate two today. Oh, we've got a quick update here. Don't jump to conclusions about the Chill Chest. The second one we opened from the regular cooler looked like that. So maybe the Chill Chest is equal. I must have just grabbed one that happened to be not melted, so. I think it's really even right now, even if I, I thought it was even before, now it's really even. I don't know what we're doing out here. Brand's got me on kind of a wild goose chase because he wants to take some cool pictures for social media. All right, one thing I was going to point out about the chill chest is that even though they say it's iceless, but I don't know if it's ice hyphen less like less ice or iceless, but they do say no ice required in the commercial. When you read the instructions, it says you can use ice packs or ice to improve the cooling of the chill chest. But the thing is, is the chill chest is not watertight, which means it's not airtight, but it's not watertight. So if you put ice in there and it melts, it's gonna go all over where it's sitting. So like in the back of my car here, if I had ice in there, it'd start leaking all over the back of it. So I really wouldn't put ice in there. I'd put ice packs, even though they say in the instructions, that you can put ice in there, then they also say you should only put ice in there outside because it's going to leak. Something to consider. <laughs> We've got a sale going on. <laughs> Alright, we're five hours in. I've been using the chill chest all day long next to this regular cooler and it seems like the results are pretty similar. I don't see a huge advantage of it, except for the fact that the chill chest does collapse down, which is a good thing, and the fact that it is very lightweight, much lighter than a standard cooler. So in those cases, it is better. As far as outperforming a regular cooler, I don't really think so. I think that if you're looking for a good, rugged, collapsible styrofoam cooler, the chill chest is a great option. If you're expecting it to outperform other ones, you might be disappointed. The biggest disadvantage that I can find about it is that it's not watertight, so if you put ice in there, it will leak. Something like this won't. All right, so we just got back from the lake, and we have the chill chest and the regular cooler here. I'm gonna open these up and take the temperature of each type of item in each cooler and see how they compare. Now, I can already tell you that from what we were seeing out there that they were pretty similar. Let's see, it's been just about six hours now of real world use, not just sitting on a table, and let's see how they compare. All right, so the first test here, the water from the cooler. Let's see what we got. 53 degrees, 54 degrees. Close. How about a can of soda? The regular cooler soda is 49, 49 degrees. Uh, 51 degrees. Again, it always seems like it's about one or two degrees higher. 
but close. All right, let's try the macaroni salad. I'm already worried about this one. This is the macaroni salad from the regular cooler. It's in the 48 range, 48, uh, very nice. About 47 degrees, also quite edible. Blue Moon from the regular cooler. This must have been against the frozen fruit in there. The chill chest. Once again, it's slightly warmer, but pretty close. Now we're checking the ice cream bars. I'm very worried because I saw a drip on the table, which is not a good sign. Oh no, oh no, oh, look at, oh. I just grabbed one from the middle. Let's open this up. I know it's gonna be bad. This is the chill chest. Oh, oh. Oh, that's just not, that's just not good. It's still, I think if I put them in the freezer, they might, they might be okay. But it's kind of like it was at the lake. It's not, it's not perfect. Now from the other cooler. Nope, right out of there, boom. All right, I'm gonna put these in the freezer. Maybe I can salvage them. So really in both cases, the chill chest was, it seems like everything I tested today, the chill chest is always about one degree warmer than the regular cooler. Although they were really close and everything seemed like it was in the same range, but they're close. I think the other cooler was slightly cooler than the chill chest though. I was gonna point out that last night I did a test with chill chest and hot food, and here's how that went. All right, my hot food test is gonna be some tuna casserole. I'm actually eating that one. I'm gonna take the temperature of these and then put them in the two coolers and then compare them hours later. 196, 197. All right, the instructions call to use towels to take up the remaining space. So it's not gonna be rocket science. It's not 100% scientific, but I got a towel on this one and I got two towels in that one. All right, so we close this one up. Close that one up. All right, the commercial just says it'll keep hot food warm for hours. It doesn't say how many hours, so I'm just gonna pick a number of hours. I think that most people wouldn't prepare something four hours in advance, so I'm gonna go four hours and see how the temperatures dropped in the two of these compared to each other. Again, they're different sizes. I'm trying to compensate as best I can. It's not 100% scientific, but they should be close if they're both good at uh, insulating these. So. Let's come back in four hours and see how warm each one of these dishes is. All right, it's been four hours. Let's crack them open and see how they look. Hmm. Safe for tuna casseroles like 135, this is 92 degrees. I'm not sure that it really did very well after four hours. Let's check the other one. Okay, here we go. This is the regular cooler. Uh oh, we got one degree warmer, two degrees warmer. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not really impressed by the hot food test so far, but we had a big day tomorrow, so we have a lot more tests to do. But hot food, I would say it performed on par with an average cooler. So in the end, I'm not sure that the chill chest can outperform a standard cooler, but on the other hand, it does hang with a standard cooler. The advantages it has are that it's lightweight and it can collapse down so you can fold it for easy storage. The disadvantage is it's not waterproof, so if you put an ice in there, it will leak. Have you used a chill chest or something like it? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Please follow my social profiles for more pictures and videos as I go. And please subscribe for more As Seen On TV product reviews to me, James White, with Frequent Reviews.